Hello guys, this is William here. Today I wanted to ask you all a question. Are you tired of switching Linux distros and want to get one which is hassle free and has almost everything you would require for day to day tasks? If your answer is yes, then look no further because today I am going to tell you about one such distro. It's called the Ferran OS. This distro is based on Linux Mint which is one of the most stable Linux distros out there and has cinnamon desktop. It has an inbuilt theme engine and also provide automatic updates. Ferran OS has a plethora of pre-installed apps ranging from WPS Office Suite and LibreOffice, yes both of them are there, to Steam and many more. The only problem which I could think of with this one is its sheer size which is nearly 3.8 GBs. Yes, this is very large, as large as Windows 10. But then, it's a one-time download and you get so much in the package that you can hardly complain. So, if you wanna try this one out, I'll guide you through the installation procedure. Let's start by making a bootable USB. For that, you'll need the software Rufus, which I've linked to in the description. Download it and open it. Insert the USB drive and then select the required ISO. Here the Fernos ISO. So I'm gonna do just that. Once it's done, hit start button and click on OK. This process will take some time so wait patiently. Okay, once it's done, let's uh, free up some space for our new OS installation. For that, go to disk management by right clicking on this PC and then select the drive you wanna free up some space from and click on shrink volume. Here, uh, Fernos recommends a minimum of 18 GBs, so I'm gonna do some more like uh, 25 GBs will be okay uh, it's 25600 MBs that's what I'm gonna insert here and hit shrink this process will take some time. By that time, do one thing. Go to your power options and choose what the power buttons to. Turn on which are not available and turn off fast startup. That's really necessary for your Linux to work properly. Okay, now you see this is turned black so our space is free. Now restart the PC. Hit the F12 button or the button which is required for boot menu. So the USB and then start for an OS. It will take some time to load up. Just wait for it. Once you're here, you can now start installing your OS. Hit this for this prompt. Now select your language. In my case, it's English. Now install third party software, it's, it's recommended to get the required drivers for your PC. For this you'll require a net connection, so I recommend that you have one. If you don't have one, you can skip this step. Now 
this here you have to select something else option and then click continue now find out the free space I have two free spaces because I use two drives since I didn't have the required space in one drive so I'll mix and match those but the values I input that's what are really required so follow me you find here hit on the plus symbol and uh, first uh, make it like 2 GBs yeah that will be enough for swap area and click OK once it's done select the free space that's left and again click the plus symbol and let's create ext4 partition you see it's already there the xt4 with a text symbol here click install now and continue select your time zone for automatically updating your time and then choose the keyboard layout now input your name and password Now wait for it to install, it will take some time. It's like the best Linux OS I have used. It's really beautiful and also uh, really full of features. The required features are there, required apps are there and there is also a native theming app. So it's really easy to theme your PC. Okay, it's installed. Now, once you restart, you will be installed. So, with this, we've come to the end of the video. I request you to like, share, comment, and subscribe the channel. And uh, for the dollar hundred giveaway, refer to the link in the description. With this, it's me, Will, and signing off. See you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.